Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of First Impressions. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at the 2017 album There Will Be No Peace by The Angelus on Tofu Carnage Records. Now full disclosure, this was sent to me free of charge by Fly PR, and I want to thank you guys for sending me this. This has been a really cool album to check out. First up, I don't really know much about The Angelus, but they really captivated me. There was something very interesting about this album. It, right from the get-go, it, it, it had this sort of, I don't want to use the word droning, because droning sounds kind of boring or, or, or even painful, but it has this very purposeful march towards something inevitable about the music. Like, this is incredibly epic, but not in the sense that it's bombastic and over the top. This is epic in the sense that I could totally see this as a soundtrack to a post-apocalyptic movie. Like, do you ever see The Road? Oh my gosh, like this would go perfect with that. They use the word gothic, and I think that's a very good summation of it. It is gothic. It, it is sort of dark and foreboding, but not necessarily depressing. It's very moody. It's almost calming in a way, too, which is which is very interesting. It, it has this sort of rainy day feel about it. It's cozy, but not necessarily welcoming. It's kind of this interesting mix. I really enjoyed it. In fact, let me just play you the, the title track. This is the last song on the album, There Will Be No Peace. Let's talk about this packaging real quick. This is a die cut cover, which I think is very, very sharp. I love that. On the back here, pretty sparse. And I love this, it's matte, but it's got a little, it's got like a nice coating to it. it so it doesn't necessarily pick up fingerprints, which I really like. Let's take the record out real quick. So here you have the inner sleeve, which has the track listings right there. And on the back here you have lyrics. What's interesting is that the vocalist, Emil, actually did the art and the layout for this. So multi-talented. I always think that's cool when when, uh, when artists can do that. And honestly, kind of saves some money in the end too. But to have this talent in addition to singing and, and playing guitar is always really cool to see. Now, the record itself, comes on this kind of a cool marbled effect going on, sort of a yellow, creamy, I think they called it like a beer color, which I think is pretty accurate. It does look like beer in a in a stein, like a clear glass stein. And you have the labels there, side A, side B. Now, from what I understand, this edition, this colored vinyl edition was limited to 300. I don't know if they're still available to buy. I would have to assume at some point they'll probably release a black color variant but we'll see. Regardless, I think you guys should give them a chance, check out their music, and see what they're all about. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I am your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this first impressions video. Now I got a whole bunch more linked up in a playlist. Go ahead and click on that. And if you want to keep in touch, I got my social media links right there. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.